Now, she is our very own This Morning Doctor, who's become one of the latest stars of The Real Full Monty. This time, someone will have to take Dr Zoe's temperature as the show takes place entirely on ice. Cannot believe... I mean, it's hard enough being part of The Full Monty, as we know. Yeah. Uh, very, very difficult process you'll go through knowing that it's building up to you eventually taking your clothes off. Yeah. All for an amazing cause. But what, when they told you it was on ice, did that make you want to go, do you know what, maybe I won't this well, year? It did a little bit because it adds that additional element of fear. Imagine having yourself exposed on ice and you fall over or something like that. It just made it, it, made it terrifying. But also, for me, I thought, oh, it's an opportunity to learn a new skill. I'd love to learn to ice skate and ice skate well. Uh, unfortunately, because the ice rinks were closed for a lot of the time, I think those of us who were new to ice skating perhaps didn't perfect that skill as much as we'd have wanted. Um, but, you know, sometimes... You managed to stand up. I managed to stand up and not fall over whilst the cameras were on me. <laughs> well, fall that's over good. Other times. Um, <laughs> most people have, obviously, a personal reason and personal experience with cancer, uh, the reason we're taking part in the show. What was yours? So I think first and foremost, as a doctor, a, a huge part of my job as a doctor is to raise awareness of cancer and to encourage patients and people to check themselves and, you know, know what to do. It's one of the reasons I love having my job here at This Morning because the impact that I can make on TV is huge. And this show, you know, the viewing figures are, are astronomical. So we know year on year that this show saves people's lives. So first and foremost, I thought, what a privilege to get the opportunity to do that on such a big stage. Um, but everybody in the show has been affected by cancer, either personally or through their family. And I have as well. So my grandmother and my auntie both died of bowel cancer. I had a bowel cancer scare myself this year, but luckily everything's so fine. So can I just ask you on that as a doctor, because I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but as a doctor, did you immediately go to a doctor or did you do what the rest of us do for a little while and go, oh, I've just got a bit of an upset tummy today, oh, it's nothing, or I'm a bit stressed and, and slightly put it off for a little while? Yeah, well, I did put it off for a while because my symptoms were a change in bowel habit. I was getting up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet, which is very unusual. Um, my stools had changed, they were more loose. So I was keeping an eye on it. But obviously this year, with everything that's gone on, it could have been down to stress, it could have been down to so many things. So I did put it off, but kind of was monitoring it. And then one, on one occasion, I had some blood in the stool as well. So that was my trigger straight away, rang up my GP, booked an appointment, got referred, had the tests, which weren't very pleasant, but, you know, found out that everything was OK and was reassured. And everybody's got that story. I mean, you were with an amazing group of, of women. Amazing. Um, and I would imagine, though, that you... I mean, it all sounds very corny, doesn't it? But I would imagine that you bond quite quickly with those women because it's a big thing you're doing together. You've all got your individual stories and then you're nervous about things like this, like the photo shoot and having yeah. to take your clothes off. It's the one thing that bound us all together, the women and the men as well, because we all are doing it for the same reason. We're doing it to save lives. Oh, my goodness. Every time I see that, it's, it's so bizarre. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we're all there to get this message out. It's not to raise money for charity. It's to tell people that we all should be checking ourselves. Women checking our breasts regularly, men checking for testicular cancer. And if you find anything that's unusual, what, get it checked out. What would be unusual in those areas? So I think the main thing to say is that it's difficult to spot something that's unusual for you if you're not familiar with your body. So initially, when men or women start checking, just start checking once a month to get familiarised. But then if you do notice that there's a lump or a change in texture or a change in sensation, persistent pain that's not, getting, that's not going away, anything that's unusual for you should get it checked straight away by your GP. And as a GP, we, are, we never think that people are overreacting. We never think that people are coming with something that's too minor. If you have a symptom that you think could possibly be cancer, we'd much rather see you and in most cases reassure you that it's nothing to worry about. Because if it is cancer, then detecting it early is just so, so important. You said Jake Quickenden had a message from a viewer just last night. Yes. Yeah, so from the show last night, he shared on his Instagram that somebody had texted him on Instagram to say that because of the show, they, she'd checked her breasts. She hadn't checked them all year because of the year that we've had and she's found a lump, so she's going to get it checked out. So already that's one person yeah. who's found something mm -hmm. early that, you know, they might not have otherwise we've, found. We've got 30 seconds left, but because, because of lockdown and because of the demands of COVID, a lot of people may say, well, either the hospitals have other things to deal with or um, I, it might be a bit of a risk to go there and they don't go for their checks. 
get it checked. We know that nearly a million women have missed their mammograms this year and they're trying to catch up. If you detect anything that's unusual for you, tell your GP, ring them up, tell them straight away, because actually you're doing the NHS a favour if you find something early. And of course, it's so crucial for yourself. Doc, thank you very much indeed. The Real Full Monty on Ice, it continues tonight, nine o'clock on ITV. I suppose we could call it <laughs> the big reveal.